So this question uh, is coming in over the email a lot, says Madison, the assistant producer. She says, we got to address it. I said, great. I've had a couple calls or emails this week about it. And uh, so here we go. Now, quick context. We created a resume template. If you're new to the show and you have not seen the Ken Coleman Show resume template, how to flip your resume, it's one of the two get hired guys at KenColeman.com right now on the homepage. Now, further context. The reason I created this is because I started finding research that said that the average hiring manager spends somewhere between 6 and 60 seconds looking at resumes. So I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, these men and women aren't actually looking at the resume. It's like a speed scan. And that led me to say that relationship, excuse me, resumes without relationships are worthless. So I said, we've got to now create a resume template that is tied to this truth that a resume without a relationship is worthless, which means if you don't know somebody in that company who can vouch for you to that hiring manager, your chances of getting pulled out of the stack of resumes is like winning the lottery. And it ain't very good, if you know what I'm saying. So, we created a template. And this is what it looks like. Now, for those of you that are watching this here on social media or YouTube, this is what we've done. I'm just going to put this right here. Just give that a scan real quick. Now, Ken, did you just do that for fun? No. First section, who I know. This is, you've got to have some relationships here. You know somebody very well that knows somebody at that company. Why I want to be here. This, we put in parentheses, was the personal statement. Why I want to be here. This is you aligning with the values, the mission of the company, the work, why you love to do the work. Uh, The third section, how I can add value. Now, this is where you're putting, again, talent, skills, some of your character traits, like hardworking, loyal, these type of things. Uh, Then we go to where I've been. Now, this is just past work experience. And then finally... What I've learned, this is the education piece. Notice I put that dead last. I almost took it out. But we're not ready for that as a culture yet. Hint, hint. Now, Ken, like the resume template, but what about a cover letter? You don't mention anything about a cover letter. No, I don't. Here's why. Madison, the assistant producer, pulled together a just general, generic cover letter template. You can see this if you're watching. See all the fill in the blanks there? Let me read to you what they suggest you put in a cover letter. Introduce yourself and what job you would like to be considered for. Hmm, I've got a heading that says why I want to be here. Mm, Check. Try to personalize the introduction if possible by by including details about past encounters with the recipient or details about third parties who may be referring you to the job. Hmm, I address that right out of the gate with who I know. Check. Discuss three or four characteristics or traits that set you apart. Provide stories, facts, and details which demonstrate these traits in the workplace. Consider using formatting such as bullets, bold, and italics to draw attention to important information. Blech. I address that with how I can add value. Check. Close by wrapping it all up and calling the reader to action. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just telling you. Why do I need a cover letter when I've got a resume like this? Here's the deal. You're asking people to scan two pieces of paper. Let's go back. The average hiring manager, according to many HR studies, scan a resume in 6 to 60 seconds, and you want them to look at two pieces of paper. Hmm. When I've offered you one piece of paper that does everything a cover letter should do and everything a resume should do. Hmm. So back to the original question that we keep getting. Ken, do I need a cover letter? No. What you need is my resume template. I'm hearing from you folks. I'm hearing that it's working. Now, I'm also hearing that people are going, I've never seen anything like this. I I don't like it at all. Too bad. You want to do things the way everybody else is doing them and keep getting the same result that they're getting, which is, Their resume is disappearing in a mountain of resumes, and they're not getting calls back. Hey, you do that because we don't want anybody to say they don't like what you've done. Oh, boy. We don't want to push anybody. All right, so here's the deal. I'm having a little fun with this to make the point. 
you don't need a cover letter. I've given you a format that gives you everything a cover letter should do and everything a resume should do. One document, they look at it, and the most important part, again, if you read the PDF of the uh, interview, excuse me, the uh, resume template, we tell you how this should work. You got to work really hard to find those true connections to somebody in that company. And when they walk your resume in and say, hey, I want to tell you about X, 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 this person, here's who they are, here's how I know them, I think they're great, that's a game changer. So there we go.